Good morning, Shell Point. My name is Anna and I'm your fitness supervisor here. Today we are doing a fit tip, but this one's really special and we'd like everybody to really listen in. This is about treadmill safety and basic safety in the fitness centers in general. So today I have Sylvia with me. She's one of our newest fitness coordinators and she's gonna help me demonstrate some things here on the treadmill. If you come into the fitness center and you want to use a treadmill, we're very happy to have you do that. But first things first, when you come up to the treadmill, just observe a couple of things. You have some toggle switches here on the treadmill. Very important to notice, the one on the right adjusts speed. The one on the left adjusts the incline plane of the treadmill. All right, Sylvia, what, let's get going. A nice, slow walk. So she's going to touch the screen. She's gonna bring up the basic screen and go with a quick start, walking easily. Now, she's on a very slow speed right now, about a 0.4. Normal walking speed, and I say normal, normal walking speed, just to warm up, is gonna be somewhere around a two. So let's use the toggle switch and take yourself up to a two. So she's gently pumping the toggle switch. When she gets to about one and a half, she's gonna pause. She's gonna feel the walking pace. Another thing about walking on the treadmill that is really important, always wear proper shoes. They don't have to be fancy, but they do need to fit well, and you do need to make sure that your shoestrings are tied up nice and securely. When walking on the treadmill, make sure that you're walking on a heel-toe, heel-toe, normal walking pattern. Lift up your knees and do a small march, as opposed to dragging the feet along the treadmill. And you'll know because you'll feel a little friction if you're dragging your feet, and you'll also notice a little swishing sound. Now, Sylvia's just gonna bring her hands down by her side. Her eyes are up and forward. And even though we have TV screens here on these treadmills, I wanna encourage you, please don't get distracted. It happens every day. People get a little distracted and can lose their balance. So it is important, if you're gonna be looking at the TV screen, set it up while you're at your warm-up pace, not while you're at full speed. Once you've been at your warm-up pace for about three, maybe five minutes at the most, that's when you're gonna to wanna to take it up for some cardio-based exercise. Here's a don't. Never lean on this toggle. This is very important. We've had a few people lean on it and it will speed up really fast. Always use your thumb and always pump. A fit and healthy person might want to do a long, like a 20 minute walk or a 30 minute walk, and that's fine. Um, but you wanna do this at a pace where you get your cardio rate up, uh, so you're a little bit challenged, but not so that you're running and out of breath. So why don't you take it up to your quick walk pace, Sylvia? So she's not leaning on it, she's pumping it. Okay, she's all the way up to three, 3.2. Now she's gonna drop her hands and swing her arms. Notice that Sylvia is not distracted. She's not looking to the side. She's not talking to people on either side of her. That can cause a real problem. So make sure you keep your eyes to the front and your mind in the game. Great job. Now what would happen if she leaned on this toggle? We're gonna to do a little demonstration for you and show you why that's unsafe. Lean on it. Look at this. Come on, she's leaning on it. Oh my gosh, emergency stop. If you ever happen to lean on that and it goes really, really fast, use your hand and hit that emergency stop button. It's very, very important. A couple of things about hands and feet on the treadmill. One place that you can gently rest your fingers is right here in front. Eyes forward, hands forward, shoulders relaxed, elbows relaxed. Now, Sylvia, step back a little bit for me. If you're pulled way back here, you tend to look down and the back will curl and then obviously you can tell that her head is forward of her hips and feet. This is not good walking posture. Better walking posture is walking forward, shoulders over hips, feet underneath hips. Really, really important. The further back that we pull, the more tripping hazards we have. Another thing, you're always welcome to use your hands on the side rails or not at all, depending on how uh, steady you're feeling on your feet, you choose. Another thing to look at, the feet on the treadmill. If you were to go a little fast or step off to the side, you could very easily catch your shoe on the side of the treadmill. This is a little bit of a ledge. Show how you can catch the ledge. Do you see that? You can catch the ledge down here. 
So keep your feet away from the side rails. I think that's about it for treadmill safety. Be sure to stay hydrated, come in and work out, enjoy your workout, but always be safe on the cardio equipment. And thanks for joining us today on Fit Tips and Treadmill Safety.